So today I'm going out to buy a lead water filter and after hearing this story, I know you will too. This week I was lucky enough to interview Mark Edwards, who is an engineer at Virginia Tech, but he's also the principal investigator behind the Flint water study and a key advocate in exposing what went wrong in Flint. Now, there's so many things that went wrong with the science behind Flint, but what's worse is the cover-ups and the corruption behind it. And after listening to his story, I know that Flint's going to happen again. Here's why. So the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, and the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, are the two big federal bodies who are responsible for keeping us safe, responsible for preventing public health issues, and responsible for protecting the environment, the air and the water that we drink. They are the top federal agencies, and if they say something is the case, then something is the case. If they say there is no lead problem in Flint, then there's no lead problem in Flint. There's nowhere other than the media where people can go to dispute their findings, which means they have unchecked power. And any TYT viewer will know that unchecked power when it comes to large government bureaucracies is never a good thing. Now, I thought that the CDC and the EPA are supposed to be the good guys. These are organizations that are run by scientists, where most of the staff are scientists or engineers, and where their whole point of existing is to go out, do science, and then tell the world about it. So I was shocked that these organizations are the ones perpetrating the lies, the ones that have become the bad guys. Their interest is in making sure that there are no problems. They don't want to see an environmental spill or a public health crisis because that means they have to do more paperwork. So they have an interest in hushing things up and making sure there's no problem. Their only interest if they receive a complaint from a citizen is to make that complaint go away. And that's how Flint happened. When residents were complaining to the EPA that the water was tasting funny or smelling weird or resulting in uh, unusual health problems, emails show that the people at the Environmental Protection Agency had no interest in actually investigating or solving the problem. They were primarily responsible for making that problem go away. As an indicator of how bad it's gotten, just last week, Congress had to pass a law that if the EPA knows that there's a problem with lead, they have to tell people. The Congress had to pass a law to make the EPA do the jobs that we're paying them for. How ridiculous is that? Now, I know what you might be thinking. Wouldn't they get in trouble for covering a problem up? Well, since they're the highest federal body, there is no one out there to expose what they're doing other than what they've termed rogue investigators, independent people at different universities who get involved somehow. Flint in many cases was an anomaly. A very concerned resident reached out to the right person, Mark Edwards, who is a known advocate for water quality, but in most cases, either people don't complain to the right people or the people they complain to also don't really care. They often complain to the EPA and the CDC, thinking that these organizations are going to help fix the problem when really all they do is make that problem go away. Now, here's the thing, if I'm right, and there are some people in these large government bureaucracies that have no real interest in protecting the health and welfare of the citizens of the United States, then Flint's gonna happen again. I live in New York City, one of the oldest cities in the United States, and that means that the water infrastructure here is very old. There's lead pipes underground everywhere, and I don't know where they are. Now, I know that if someone somewhere has a problem with lead poisoning, that there's going to be no public outcry. And that means we all have to take responsibility for protecting ourselves. And that's why I'm buying a lead water filter. Now, perhaps the scariest part about this whole Flint disaster is that only one person from either the CDC or the EPA has lost their jobs, despite emails being released confirming the cover-up that they were responsible for. Because the CDC and the EPA have this unchecked authority, there is no precedent for what we can do to keep them accountable. So what do you guys think? I would love to hear your ideas on how we can make sure these bodies actually do their job and behave ethically and are kept to account. Let us know your ideas in the comments below and who knows, you might launch a whole movement of your very own. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.